talking about the natural base E and we want to graph natural base E functions. So we have this function given Y equals two times E raised to the 0.5 X. And we want to state the domain and range also. So we talked about uh, picking points that will be helpful for us. And uh, if I plug zero in, that's going to be one that's going to be really helpful. And usually we can pick one. And so over here, we'll substitute that in. So 2e, another way to write um, 0.5 is to say 1 half. And x, in this case, is going to be 0. 1 half to the 0 power is 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so 2 times 1. And so we will have the point 2, 1. And then, uh, so we can substitute the value in again, and we get 2e to the 1 half times uh, 1. I don't really know what e to the 1 half power is going to be, so I'm actually going to skip that, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to pick the value of 2, because that's going to help me out a little bit more. So we still have 1 half power, and that is going to be squared. So 1 half times 2, that cancels out, and that ends up being 1. e to the 1, I know what that is. So another way that we can write this is 2 times 2.7. I mean, for this graph, 2.7 is going to be fine, because I, I know that e is 2.7182, and then 1 half times 2 is the first power, so that's itself. So then we get the point of 5.4 when we multiply 2 times 2.7. So then we can graph those points. Uh, and let's count. We'll just count by ones and we'll be able to graph it out. So uh, 0, 2. So 0, 2 is right here. And then we have the point 2, 5.4. So over 2 up 5.4 is a little bit above. So if we have 5. We have negative 5, we have negative 5, and 5, and then we can graph the point, that the line that goes between them. And then our domain for this is the same as the exponential. It's going to be all real numbers, or negative infinity to infinity. The range is going to be, our asymptote is going to be at... Um, is going to go from our range starts from zero and goes to infinity. So zero to infinity. Our asymptote is the X axis, which is Y equals zero. And the Y intercept is the point zero two. Then we can, uh, if we graph it, uh, if we shut this one off and we shut this one off and we have E, to the 0.5, we can see that we do um, have a point that goes, oh, and then there was a 2 in there as well. So we can see that we have the point there at 0, 2, and then we have another point at 2, 5.4, a little bit more.